Okay, we're going to cover a very basic concept in trading and investing, and that is the concept of the equity curve. What is an equity curve? Well, an equity curve is a graphic depiction, as you can see in this very simple Excel spreadsheet, of an account's equity. And what we want to see in any account is growth. And growth is movement from the starting account size from the lower left hand corner to an upper right hand corner. Now this particular one is obviously not a realistic equity curve, although it is very nice. This is the kind of thing that pops up in traders and investors dreams, but uh, we don't have to have a perfect trading or investing methodology in order for us to be profitable over the long term. Okay, so let's get back to equity. There are two different types of equity. There's closed trade equity, in which case you're taking the equity of all the trades that are currently closed, and then there's a, the equity that includes any open trades. So for instance, if you have an open trade that is $1,000 uh, to the good at that particular point, that $1,000 is included. And if it is in the opposite direction of being um, in negative territory in that particular trade by $1,000, then that $1,000 gets subtracted uh, from the equity prior to that particular trade. So let's we're going to look here at closed trade equity and as you can see uh, it's very simple we start off with a, a starting account size of $10,000 and the profit for each trade and this example is $1,000 obviously crazily oversimplified but I believe everyone would get the point that this is not a realistic equity curve. In fact, if someone shows you a, an equity curve uh, that is a straight line at a 45 degree uh, angle from uh, lower left hand corner to upper right hand corner uh, of, the, uh, of, of the equity chart, then uh, just run. Don't even stick around for the explanation because it won't be worth listening to. Okay, so let's see how this equity stuff works. So let's say that we started off and things didn't exactly go as planned and let's say our first few trades were losers okay so what happens is we start off with our ten thousand dollars we move down here okay to this particular area and we are in negative territory right at this particular point by three thousand dollars okay now, when the equity moves from a higher point down here to a lower point, this is known as a drawdown. At this particular point, this particular trading methodology has a $3,000 drawdown. Okay? okay, This is, again, simplified to make uh, it easy to understand. So let's say, for instance, we pop in here and we have a minus $2,000. Okay, now things are looking a little bit more realistic. Okay, so we move here from this particular drawdown up here to an equity peak of $11,000. So we've popped our heads above our negative or underwater equity just for a bit here, just to pop back and to go back up. Okay, so. And I'm just throwing these in randomly. Okay, there we go. Let's have some fun in. There is a little bit more of a boost. There we go. Now, there are not a lot of trades here. This is about 30 trades so it's not very many at all okay as you can see okay 31 trades so uh, the important thing is that you see that there are going to be valleys and peaks in equity 
okay as time goes on it will not be in real time trading with real money in a real account uh, a straight line at a 45 degree angle as we started off with it will zig and it will zag the important thing is that you make new equity highs over time okay there are going to be drawdowns in any good system so there's going to be drawdowns in any even the greatest trading system in the world is going to have a drawdown in other words uh, the system didn't react to market conditions as planned or maybe it did it was doing its thing and the market simply uh, went up when the system was anticipating uh, a downward trade so there's a uh, there are losses involved uh, so as long as we move up to new equity highs we have new peaks we're using a system worth trading don't get put off by you know the drawdowns again that's an entirely different topic uh, that uh, we'll cover but don't get put off by drawdowns because they are a natural part of trading don't get put off by consecutive losing trades because they are a natural part of trading the key is to have the discipline to trade a good trading system over the long term so that it can pull out of the inevitable uh, periods when the trading system and the market were not necessarily in sync. Thanks for taking the time to listen to this brief tutorial brought to you by Simple Trading Ideas.